morning you guys. It's bright and early. It's a lovely day. Oh, so good. Um, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I am filming this video. Uh, I haven't posted up in a while, but I wanted to share a little bit of what's been going on in my world here, uh, both as a mom, as a crafter, you know, just as a general human. <laughs> Um, I've had a lot going on in the last month or so, and I just wanted to share it with you. Um, I've posted a couple videos previously of knitting up some sock blanks, or not sock blanks, um, some just dye blanks for a dyeing yarn, and I have dived headfirst into the dyeing world, which is so incredibly fun, such a wonderful experience so far. I've had a lot of support uh, from the knitting community and the crochet community kind of embracing my little shop so far, which has been such a blessing. So I want to say thank you very much for your support. Um, but anyway, I wanted to do like a little podcast, so to speak, or just an update video to show you the things that I've been working on and, you know, to tell you a little bit of how our life is going and what's happening. Um, so I'll start with I suppose the life bits. Uh, we are keeping very, very busy this summer. We are trying to do tons of things all the time, every day, trying to get outside and walk and just be active. I have, for those who don't know, I have a uh, almost three-year-old daughter, Cecilia, and I have an almost one-year-old son, Tucker, and we are busy a lot of the time. So, uh, very energetic. Tucker just learned how to crawl. He's pulling himself up on things, sitting himself up. He's had an explosion of physical movement, and he's had, starting to have a verbal explosion and signing explosion, which is really nice. I have an interrupting kid. Yes. Mommy's making a video. Hmm? I will make a video too. My little helper wants to help. Come on. Why don't you, I thought you were coloring. I thought you were coloring in stickers. Say good morning. Say good morning. Yes. <laughs> What do you see up there? It's me and you. <laughs> me and you. Oh, so anyway, we think <laughs> I have a very silly, silly girl this morning. <laughs> All right, so um, so that's what's been going on in our lives. We're just keeping busy, just doing all the things that toddlers love to do. And of course. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, what? Okay, let's see. So I have a crazy toddler this morning. Um, this is part of the reason why I haven't updated or filmed anything because Cece has given up her nap. Given it up completely. Uh, so we are like flat out all the time, every day. So you're probably gonna see this little interrupter coming in and out of the movie. movie. Out of the movie. Out of the, out of the little video that I'm filming for you. So anyway, life is crazy, two small kids, the holidays, 4th of July, now we have the summer, we have Tuck my birthday, Tucker's birthday, Cece's birthday all coming up, so we're gonna have all these parties happening, all of Cece's friends have turned two and three years old, so it's all been this crazy summer. So anyway, let's get into the fun stuff, which is the crafting, crochet, dyeing experience uh, that I've had. So I wanted to show a couple of things, so we'll start with some works in progress. For me, which I have one, one knitting project that's really in the works and it's because it's the easiest project ever invented um, and I'll show it to you here if I can get it. This is all tangled because it's lace weight. First knitting project ever and I choose lace weight. Pardon the noise, she's dragging the toy from the other room. Drag and the dragging continues. Just dragging. Okay, so I've detangled this little project. This 
has been done in the Juniper Moon Farm Finley Dappled um, Lace Weight Yarn. It is 100 grams, which is 798 yards. I apologize. <laughs> that toy is the, the dentist toy where you put the beads over the, um, you know, the different wires and they go up and down and they slam down and count the beads and it's a crazy toy. So she's playing with that, so I apologize. Anyway, Underground Magic Scarf in the Juniper Moon Farm Finley Dappled Lace Weight um, yarn, which is 50% uh, wool, 50% silk. It's super soft. It's lovely. And it is in the color 114, which is called Macaw. And it's a beautiful variegated yarn skein. It almost reminds me of a feed. You know, you read um, any Dr. Seuss, you know, that uh, the Lorax story, the, the guy makes a need. And that's what it kind of reminds me of. Um, so this is going to be a magic scarf. I am probably eight inches into this scarf and it is taking forever because it's lace weight. Um, I wish I had done it on smaller needles because I'm not happy with the gauge. It's a little wider than I thought it was going to be. But um, I mean, it's an amorphous type scarf. So it's pretty, um, it's, it's going to turn out pretty anyway. It's just a bit fiddly to work with on such large needles. These needles are a US 13 or 9 millimeter. These are my 9, nine mils. I got my 9 mils <laughs> um, here. So this is what how far I've gotten. It, I've had some tragedy in dropping stitches on this several times that I've had to pick up with my crochet hook. Some successfully, some a little funky looking, but since it's an amorphous scarf, it's pretty forgiving and you can't really tell where the mistakes are unless you're really looking for them. So that is my solo knitting project. That's it. And it has sat untouched for about a month. So that's that. And then as far as crochet, I do have one. I finished a couple of projects recently, which I don't have here. I actually have them on display at my local yarn shop um, as sample pieces for my yarn. Oh my goodness, no oh, tangles. I need smaller project bags where I can't shove more than one project in at a time. Because right now I have like four projects in this bag and they're all tangled together. Get out of here, get out of here. Crazy yarn, okay. So this, is my work in progress for crochet, which is my forte, if you didn't know already. Um, this is the Simple Scallops Shawl in the colorway uh, Flowers for Dobby, which is a grayish toned yarn. It has kind of like intentionally dirty looking spots on it in gray and the sandy color, and then also some speckles of a purple color. I think it was plum, but I was inspired by Harry Potter. See, no big surprise. If you know me in real life, you know I'm a big fantasy world junkie. I'm a big nerd, geek, whatever you want to call me. Uh, but this is the Simple Scallop Shawl, which is a crochet lace shawl. It is done in my colorway and my everyday sock base. And I'm using an eye hook which I believe are all the millimeters. Eye hook, what are the millimeters for an eye hook? Anyway, this is being done in an eye hook. Um, and so once it's blocked, it's going to have this lovely, can't really see, it's hard to see here. Um, let's see if you can see it on this side. Yeah. So you can see this lovely thing that's gonna happen when it's blocked out. So it will expand and kind of open up the stitches. Right now they're just a bunch of scallops stitched together. Um, I'm probably about halfway done. I feel like I have about half the skein left to go. So this should be quite a large shawl. Right now it's a little shawlette. It's a pretty color. I like it. I keep looking at the screen because unprofessional. So <laughs> that's one work in progress that I have going. I've started another project in this yarn. This is the Millet Calori Baby Yarn by Lang. I got this down in my local yarn shop and I'm working on a pair of baby booties. 
that's about it. <laughs> I started it last week and I haven't touched it because I've been busy with dyeing. Um, this is in, this is 50 gram ball. The makeup is, where is the makeup of the yarn? It is 100% wool, super washable, and 190 meters. It doesn't say the color, it just has a number. Numbers, mysterious numbers at the bottom. Like, look at that. How are you supposed to know what the color is? It doesn't tell you the color. It just gives you these mysterious numbers. So here, you can do with that what you will. This is the yarn. Um, it's very, very soft and it's 100%. Well, it's it's a beautiful yarn. Lovely variegations in it, different colors. We have purples and greens and oranges. You can see the different layers of the cake as you get deeper and deeper. It's beautiful. It's like a squishy, squishy dream for a little baby. So these will be little crocodile stitch booties. This, this is just the sole of the booty. It's only one and only barely halfway done. So um, that's another project that I have in progress and I don't think I have anything else in progress right now that's pretty much it that's all I've had time for all right let's get into the good stuff the good stuff for me right now is dyeing yarn this is so much fun for me it's definitely a creative outlet that I don't really have with just doing crochet it's certainly fun for me to purchase lots of yarn <laughs> because I have a little bit of an addiction in my wardrobe in the room right there it's just full of different types of yarn I have wool yarn I have acrylic yarn I have cotton yarn I have t-shirt yarn, I have, you know, the wool yarn that I've purchased, my sock yarn, my superwash DK yarn, all the yarns that I'm selling, and it's a little bit of a, a nightmare in there, just a little bit I have to organize everything because I have all my shipping supplies, everything in this one wardrobe, it's just a big mess, but anyway. So it's been super fun for me to dye and I wanted to show you some of the yarns that I have right now that are up for sale in my Etsy shop, which I'll link for you up here and I'll put in the down bar below. But um, I wanted to show you the different colorways and then the different types of yarn. So a lot of the yarn I've been dyeing right now have been, of course, fantasy themed because that's my life. Um, and I am doing some Harry Potter themed yarns. Well, it is July and it's a very big deal for Harry Potter fans right now. So this is the yarn that I've been dyeing. This is the Simple DK Base, which is a 100% um, wool, superwash merino wool base. Super squishy, like, you just wanna cuddle with it. <laughs> um, but this is in the colorway Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder. <laughs> uh, but it's beautiful deep yarn. It has, you know, some grays and black, some yellow and like a peacock type color blue, which blend together to make this beautiful green variegation and striping in here. It's quite lovely. Um, it's just a variegated yarn. It's kettle dyed. Well, actually this is hand painted, but it is just variegated skein. Um, this is what it looks like in the Everyday Sock Base, which is a 75-25 blend of Superwash Merino and Nylon. Um, again, very pretty. It almost looks like drawn, like you could have drawn it on with pencil. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, there it is. Quite lovely. And then the star of the show, the star of the show, is the Stellina Base, which is my Sparkle Sock Base. And it is so twinkly. <laughs> like pictures don't even do this this base justice. I take photos of my yarn after I dye it. I try and take photos of every single batch of yarn that I make so that um, you have an accurate picture of what a yarn is going to look like when it comes to you because being a kettle dyed or a hand painted yarn there's a lot of variation between skeins and I try and dye a lot of my yarn at the same time with the same formulation of dye so that you get the same um, feeling throughout each each hank of yarn so it's not you know a totally different balance between you know say black and the other colors that are here so I want to make sure that it's um, done so anyway anyway I digress I take pictures of all of my yarn and when I struggle this this room has the best lighting this is my dining room and I take pictures in here and 
it's so hard to show the amount of sparkle that is in these sparkle skeins. So this is a 75, 20, and 5% split between Superwash Merino Nylon and Stellina. And it is silver Stellina. Like, look at that. Like, if that doesn't look like Peruvian Instant Darkness Powder, I don't know what does. I probably can go a little darker in the, the deep black for my next uh, dye of this, but it looks just gorgeous. Look at that. I just love sparkle. Everything is better in sparkle, as far as I'm concerned. If I have a sparkle to dye, if I have a skein available to dye, like, I usually will dye it. Um, anyway, so the next colorway that I've been working on is Flowers for Dobby, which is done, uh, I did that shawl, I'm doing that shawl in this colorway. This is the nice subtle colorway. This is in the Simple DK weight. You can see there's, you know, a bit more bold changes of color because you have larger um, diameter yarn to dye, so it takes the dye a lot differently. But generally, it's the same feeling. It's this grayish toned yarn with kind of intentionally dirty looking um, bits where it's a bit darker gray or a bit darker brown and then the pops of the pinkish purple color, plum color. Oops, look at that. It's quite squishy. It's quite squishy. Um, and then this is in the everyday sock base. Again, a 75-25 split. Beautiful. This is what I'm stitching in and this one is the last lonely guy. He's the last lonely guy in his base for this uh, dye lot, so he's still available. He's still kicking around my house. I'd like to see him honed with someone who would love to stitch him up into a shawl or a sock. I loved, I'd love to see you stitched into socks. I don't sock knit. I don't knit very much in general, and I don't crochet socks either. I've never crocheted a sock, and um, I love the way that hand-knit socks look, and so I'm, I'm tempted just to teach myself how to knit socks just so I can see what this looks like knit up into a sock because I think it will be beautiful. And then I have in the sparkle base, obviously because everything is better when it's sparkly. Check it, check it. Oh, pardon my like dyed nails. Um, my fingers just eat up dye. I, I take my gloves off, I'm like everything's clean, and then there's a spot of dye and I go to wipe it and it gets all over my hands. But check it, gorgeous. Just so sparkly. Then the next colorway that I've just recently dyed is called Dirigible Plums, which I took a lot of my inspiration directly from the mythical fruit that is outside. Ah. You're okay. You didn't fall. Um, you're actually on a stand, but that was a bit of a, a jostle. Um, I took my inspiration directly from the mythical fruit, the color of the fruit. So it's this orange peach color that kind of fades into, you know, the natural colors of the yarn. And then through the yarn, I had to put a little bit of a plum touch, like a plum color. I love plum. Um, but it just came out so gorgeous. And especially in the DK weight, like I want to knit, knit. I want to crochet this into a shawl because it is so gorgeous. Look at that. Lovely variations when you kettle dye. And then I have it also in my everyday sock blend, which I also love and I would love to see stitched up, but alas, I don't knit socks. I don't knit very much, but just check it. So lovely, so lovely. Look at that. You have the purples and the, um, it's more of like an orange red and then like the orange and then it fades to the natural color of the yarn which is still slightly peach toned just beautiful sorry I'm looking into the screen so that I can see what I'm showing you uh, and then this I want to keep but it is so beautiful this I just dyed yesterday this is called Fox Rising you want to show me the picture you made? Okay. Can you go get it for me? This is Fox Rising. Just a gorgeous, deep, deep red brown, like reddish, not reddish brown, but like, yeah, maybe a little reddish brown, but like deep red, fiery reds and oranges. Just look at that. 
beautiful. And then in the sparkle base, obviously. Oh, we have a picture. Would you, would you like to see a picture? Yeah. Let me see. <gasps> Look at this. Beautiful. And let's show Cecilia's coloring. Uh, we have some red birds and a red part of the boat and pink water. Three-year-old coloring. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah, here's the sparkle. Okay, there we go. Lots of interruptions, kids coloring books, phone calls, text messages, all at the same time. So, we are going to just show this skein and then we'll be all finished, I think. But this is Fox Rising. This is the last colorway that I had um, dyed. And it is just gorgeous. And the Stellina base, it looks like it's on fire. It's wonderful. So, I hope you've enjoyed this chaotic mess that's just happened. Uh, but again, I don't have a lot of time to film. I, Tucker's upstairs napping right now. Somehow, I don't know. And Cecilia's been mostly occupied. So this is probably the best that I could do to get a little video up. But I want to share those things with you. I'll leave links down in the description box below. And if you check the info cards right here, um, you'll see them all. Uh, I don't have any other updates or works in progress or yarns to show you. But, um, I hope you guys enjoy your week. Uh, I've been watching tons of different knitting and crocheting and dyeing podcasts, which have been awesome, which kind of inspired me to say like, hey, why don't you update your channel? That would be kind of smart. So I figured I'd update you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.